Yes, sir, Mr. Pussycat. Meow. Welcome back to a new video, and welcome to day three of the Coast to Coast. Dan, oh, look who's here. He's here again. Cumbria Lad Outdoors has come to join us mm. today, as has Moose Through Outdoors, but he's currently laying one out in the loo. So, we are going to head for Angletown. Angletown. First stop, Grasmere, get a bite to eat. Second stop, Patterdale, grab a drink. Third stop, third stop, uh, up to Angletown. 21 miles, be a long day. Can't wait. It's due to rain all day. Happy days. Right, we'll bring you back along the way, but look at the views of this place. Here we go. Yes, hey, boys. Here we go! We're going camping we're go on a mountain. We're going, we're going camping, camping on a mountain. But we've got to walk 21 miles to get there. <laughs> Let's do this! The Lake District. I love you. Like I love Rustler's Microwave Burgers. And before we carry on with the rest of day three, I just want to give a big shout out to Wayne. Big shout out Wayne. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to do the coast to coast. Because you get to uh, walk past Niagara Falls. Always wanted to see it. Biggest waterfall in the world. That is, isn't it? That, biggest waterfall in the world, right there. I thought it was, yeah. And that looks like the biggest mountain in the world where we're heading. That's uh, Everest, isn't it? Everest, yeah. Yeah, Everest and uh, Niagara Falls there. Yeah. Look at that. Atmospheric. That's Linen Crag. We've uh, hiked all the way up the Borrowdale Valley, which you can't see because of the mist and the clag. And now we're just at the bottom of the start of the final ascent. There goes Camping Dan in all his glory. And another fella doing the coast to coast just in front of him who we were talking to. He's heading for Grasmere, which is probably at five miles. Lucky sod. So yeah, let's get to the top. This is a Wayne right. Let's tap this bad boy and... Uh, See Susan Boyle's up there with Ian Beale. Top of Lining Crag. Lining Crag done and boshed. Myself and Dan are up here. Well done, mate. Great bit of a calf burner that one, wasn't it? Aye, oh, bit tester. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's all part of fun, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sure we go up a bit before we go down, do we not? I'm pleased I'm on the low road. Yeah, road. that's for sure. Yeah, the... But we're at the top. Cumbria lad is nearly here. And Moose is also nearly here. And it is misty up here. Views to die for, eh? Show you views. Definitely worth the five mile hike. Look at that. Views for days. Beautiful. Like flying milk. Here we Watch go, me. boys. We're off. We're off, We're off the hey, up, where am I? I'm here. We've done it. Lady Craig, Lady Craig. You've done it, have we, Paul? We've done it, smashed it. We've done it, smashed it. Bosh, Booster Man. Yes, we what? You what? You what? You what? You what? Yeah. Don't forget Mini Angle Town. Mini Angle Town, just in distance. So if all else fails, we'll just go there and say we are there. You know what I mean? Just like when I get trained to Robin Hood's Bay and pretend I've walked it. <laughs> now we're off, we're off. Uh, on to up and over and down into Grasmere for the first stop at day. Get something to drink rather than eat because I'm still full. But yeah, fantastic crack with the lads this. Loving it. Now this is why we do it. Wow. That is genuinely stunning. How nice is that, mate? What a nice little surprise and reward that was. Time to get the poles out. See the old knees, I think. Yeah, get the poles out. Wow. That is beautiful, man. Yes, I. <laughs> <laughs> We've just met a lad who's also doing coast to coast. It's Josh. Hello, Josh. Hey, you all right? <laughs> Josh is 17. He's doing coast to coast on his own. And, uh, just walking along having a talk and he's told me his little backstory which pulled on the old art strings and whatnot but essentially he's a, a recent loss a close family member and he's raising money for a charity which um so it's the eden valley hospice and um eden valley uh, animal shelter it's the eden valley hospice and the eden valley animal shelter so if you would like to kindly donate to Josh, I will grab 
<clears throat> um, his information like Facebook or Instagram or something and I will kindly ask him to send the link over and put it in the description. If that's alright with you Josh mate? Of course it is. So feel free to donate to Josh and leave a nice comment cheering him along. Just had a little drink and about to eat. Paul, have you had the nicest beer you've ever had apparently? You what, have I? You don't mess about, do you? No. Well, they've got another 10 miles in front, so we'll start up beer now. <laughs> Moose, that was a panic attack. I thought it was only four to go. <laughs> no, ten, 10 to go, mate. We're halfway. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> not nice, mates, you. <laughs> now, the line here, it's 12. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing well, his Moose, man, as we all are. Won't be after another 10, it won't be. Come back in it, but we'd have done ten more. Oh, right, we're off to Grisdale Tad, and then we'll be descending into Patterdale next. That's his next <laughs> challenge. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys. Sorry, I've not done much filming. Shit hit the fan. Shit hit the fan. We got caught in torrential rain at about 650 metres high at Grisdale Tad. It was slow going up there. Anyway. And then we got absolutely hit, big time. So I don't know, it's quarter to six now. I reckon we've got at least an hour to Patterdale. That'll be quarter to seven. We've got nothing booked because we were due to wild camp at Angle Town. I don't know if we get up in there in time. That's lovely. I rang a campsite when I got some signal. They didn't answer. But the campsite in Patterdale, it had like an automated message saying you can just turn up between 9 and 9 on a first come first serve basis. So, Paul is ahead, Cumbria Land Outdoors is ahead. Camping Dan and Moose State are behind me. I keep checking back just to make sure I can keep seeing them. And I'm spotting them by looking at the bag protectors. And when I can, it gives me a little bit of peace of mind because I want to bat on and try and get us all the space on this campsite before one, it closes and two, it fills up. 50-50 ever we'll get so I really don't know what we're going to do if we don't get on that campsite now. Today, it's took a little bit longer because we're a team. What I mean by that is, one of, uh, one of our lads were really struggling and there's no way on earth we're leaving him. So it took quite a lot longer than what it should have done, but at the end of the day he's my mate and we aren't leaving him and that's just that. But he's coming down and he's got a bit of a second wind and Camping Dan's... Whoa! Camping Dan's with him. So let's try and get to Patterdale. Right, now we are making a bigger comeback than Jesus Christ on Easter Sunday. Because I've just waited a little bit till I could spot them again to get my peace of mind that they're okay. And they're actually physically together now. Uh, they're not making love or not, they're just walking down mountain. But they're actually side by side. And they're not too far behind me. So jobs are good and 10 to 6, 3 miles away. Let me see if I can get to this campsite and get something booked because we ain't failing this thing and that's just how it is. Moose and Paul aren't doing the coast to coast. They've just come out today to support us. They've done the hardest day and you know what? They've put themselves through hell. Moose man, be proud of yourself, mate. All right, let me get to this bloody campsite, man. Just coming into Patterdale now. Dan and Moose are a little bit behind me still. So I'm going to try and get these campsite pitches sorted. If we can't get on there, I don't really know what we're going to do. Because we won't have time for one Dan and Mooster to catch up. But then two, get up onto anywhere where we can wild camp. It'll, it'll be dark by the time both of them and things have come together. So fingers crossed, man, we can get this campsite. Right, guys. The campsite is closed, abandoned, derelict, you name it. Now we've done something which I strongly advise you do not do. 
I was meant to wild camp tonight, but due to the issues, I wouldn't make it up there now. It's right up there. The campsite's derelict. It's half past eight. The YHA at Patterdale has stopped trading or it's been sold to someone, but at the moment it's sort of derelict. But there is a car there, so someone's manning the site. And we've snuck in. We're in the camping field in the YHA. But the chances are we're probably going to get kicked off. But we had no other option. And do not do it, guys. Do not do it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to donate £10 it costs to camp at YHA. Is that open? I'm just going to donate what it costs to the YHA to make me feel a little bit better about myself. But shouldn't be doing this, guys. Should not be doing this. So I'm going to get Dan and Moose now because they've landed in Patterdale. And I'm going to sneak them on. I'm going to sneak them on and show them where we've pitched. <laughs> this is it, guys. Got to be quiet. There's that building here. Oh, fuck. And then... Where are you? Next at River. All this is closed, but that car's just around that corner. But yeah. So I'll leave it there tonight, guys. I've got to be quiet. See you tomorrow for day four.